Welcome back. Many residents of the Federal Capital Territory are increasingly crossing the highways rather than use the designated pedestrian bridges. This week on FCT in Focus, we'll look at the reasons why this is an increasing trend in spite of the danger associated with it. Take a listen. Reckless, dangerous and irresponsible. These are some of the words used to describe the increasing trend among residents of the Federal Capital Territory who abandon the pedestrian bridges and cross the highway at the detriment of their lives. Public funds were deployed for the construction of these pedestrian bridges. For instance, as at 2014, the Ministry of Works spent over 303 million naira to construct the pedestrian bridges at the Sharatin and Banex junctions in the nation's capital. While some people decide to use the bridge, a vast majority do not. Some people that don't have the strength to climb, they climb the bridge. People like me, if I climb the bridge, sometimes I have problem with my legs. My leg will start shaking. Some people see the, to cross the road is very easy for them. That's why they cross the road. Some, some people, it's not about the, the easy way. But me, I find it easy way to cross the road than to climb the bridge. Government make a provision for at a pedestrian very nearby. I use that uh, most of the vehicles that drop people, they drop people before the pedestrian. And by the time you look at the maybe her head is far so the, instead of the Nigeria, you know Nigeria is supposed to be patient, get yourself like from here to that place, it's not something that you're supposed to relax and try to make sure that you get there. But some people feel like to get there time maybe is a waste of time. This is a pedestrian bridge over there because they, a lot of hazard. If not for the minister we have today, and this should be enforced because we live lives as if we have original life back home and we take photocopy out. This is a highway. So normally that's a pedestrian bridge. So if you if you, if the government is shouting of revenue, revenue, bringing people here to catch these people, to hold these people so that you can generate revenue. Because by the time you make a fine for people crossing here, everybody will go and use the pedestrian bridge. During my driving school days, I, I think anyone be hit without crossing the pedestrian bridge, um, uh, uh, the person that hits he or she is pardonable and um, honestly thinking um, the law cannot really stand for them to, to say the truth. So it's advisable everyone use the pedestrian bridge to secure their life or to be on a safer side. Data from the National Bureau of Statistics and the Federal Road Safety Call website shows that from 2010 to 2018 there were no records of violations of zebra crossings in Abuja despite the daily violation of the road rules. According to the NBS, Abuja tops the list of states in Nigeria with the highest number of casualties in road accidents in the last 10 years, estimated at over 7,000. But the accidents are attributed to various traffic violations, except the zebra crossings violations. According to data from the 2016 annual report of the Federal Road Safety Corps, over 5,000 fatalities were recorded in the country as a result of road crashes, a 7.7% reduction from the figure of 2015. Children accounted for over 40% of all fatalities according to the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics. Over 1,000 persons were involved in auto accidents in the FCT in the last quarter of 2017. Of this number, 449 were injured and 54 people were killed. A good number of these were those who chose to cross the highway rather than using the pedestrian bridges. From January to date, so far we've had about eight people that have been knocked down by trying to run across the roads. Of course, by, let me say, hit and run. Then, and mostly, these people are knocked down in the evening, mostly. Mostly in the evening. Now, these eight casualties, three died. Three, we are seriously injured, okay? And then the other two, even though they were injured, but it was mild. Globally, if 
we sensitize the pedestrians and they see the need to abide by what is expected of them to do, I think we will have safer roads and also have fuller lives. It may look like a convenient exercise to simply cross the highway for many pedestrians, but making the decision to use the pedestrian bridges will surely be beneficial in the long run.